and welcome back to Felt Chat. Is my game audio right? Oh goodness, I think my game audio is too low. And you know what? We're keeping it in here because this is the most laid back, relaxed series that you're ever going to watch on YouTube. And that's kind of like the whole point. So I like keeping in the flubs. It keeps the series grounded. I'm also tired as heck with a sore arm, so I'm also feeling a little less into making sure everything's perfect and more of just wanting to do the, the things that I want to do. In case you're wondering, I got the first dose of a Pfizer vaccine yesterday. That's why I didn't upload my felt chat on its regular day. That's why I didn't stream as well, because I didn't feel like I'd be up to it. I also decided to just hang out and play video games with friends, which happens sometimes and is also enjoyable. And you know what? This is this is where the felt chat comes into play. You don't always need to really give a reason why you don't want to do something. I feel like that's something that people often get way too hung up on. Like, people ask you to do something and you're like, oh, I need to find a reason to say no. Or you could just say, no, I don't really feel like doing that. And, and if they're like, they should understand. This doesn't just apply to, you know, m me as a streamer. This also applies to any social relationship that you're a part of. As long as it's not related to, like, I don't know, work, in which case you'd signed up to do the job. You should probably do your job. As the squad, same as always, I want that friendship XP. Weirdly, ironically enough, about the whole vaccine that I started getting. Could you stop existing child, please, for like one second? Stop with your nonsense. About the whole heckin' thing is that, like, getting the shot and all that was by far less stressful and frustrating than just trying to get to the place <laughs> where they were giving it, because there was just tons of traffic on the roads, as well as just... Um having to go somewhere I'd never been before. That that all combined together was generally more stressful than trying to than just trying to go and get the freaking shots in the first place. Which is funny. No. Okay, good. I was gonna say, please don't tell me you just left. I'm trying to just kill you fast. I would also really appreciate it if you would drop my thing, because then I can finally use my first crown. So I can fight if he drops the thing, I can finally use my first crown on Joe. Hello! I would love to be able to use my first crown on Joe. He's by far one of my favorite DPS in the game. Although I'm slowly coming around on Kaya. He's pretty fun. Could you not kill my Ningguang? That'd be greatly appreciated, child. But yeah, like, I'm really coming around on on Kaya, and I think he's actually going to be my next unit that I max, just because he's he's really good. I definitely slept on him, and if you missed out on my clickbaity as crap video that I made the other day, go watch it, it's pretty okay. Not my best work, but not my worst by far. <laughs> he slapped me as I was plunging him. And yeah, that's, that's the, the gameplay might not be like the best thing in the world. Like I said, oh, I'm tired, I get a sore arm. I think that's what I need! I think that's what I need! Please tell me that's what I need. Also, that's pretty trash and I'm sad. Please tell me that's what I need, fingers crossed, because if that's what I need for Xiao, that makes me so happy. It means I can use my first ever crown on one of my characters. I mean, I don't think I have the mats for it right now. But, yep, there it is. I just, I need to get my prosperities, which I can't farm until Thursday, because I didn't farm them yesterday because I was busy. For a good portion of the day, but I just, I, I want to do it. I love Zhao. He's by far one of my favorite main DPS. I love the way he plays and leveling his basic attacks ups his damage by so much. Upping his high plunge attack to 400% from 375. I could also technically just level this up twice, I'm pretty sure, which would really help, but it's like 5% and then 5% as opposed to 25%. And I think depending on the scaling, the 25% the is still better. Got a little more Battle Pass XP. Also, new Battle Pass out. If you aren't buying it and doing it, make sure you do that. Yuck. Alright, um... Let's go kill Storm Terror. I should really heal up first, though. But yeah, this is a very laid-back, chillaxed, vibed-out, felt chat. I'm tired as heck. 
I didn't even like play catch up on this. I'm like, a, I'm, I'm now behind on this. I've, I did these the other day because I wanted to catch up on the story, but like all the little mini games, I'm, I'm a day behind. I need to do. I might do that on stream tonight. That's a definite possibility. That could be fun. Do a very chilled out, and relaxed stream in place of worrying about reset and fourteen and destiny. Because it's Tuesday and not Monday, like per normal. All right, let's fight Storm Terror. Bully the crap out of him, as is tradition. I actually really like the new events that they've, uh... Wait, hang on. Um, let me see something. Didn't I get another key today? Oh no, it's tomorrow that I get my other key. Okay. I thought I had another key today, and I was about to be like, Ooh, that means I can finally finish out all of my, um... My little friend things. Oh good, that did hit him. I was really hoping that would. Come on, land. I'm just using Ning to try and push him quickly. Oh, those don't home in on him. That is sad. I should really be using Zhao's things to generate particles for his burst, but I know I'm not going to get it, so I'm just kind of vibing it. Uh, Zhao? You okay there, buddy? Oh, well, Zhao flopped on that one. That was a whiff. There we go, that's a good one. Yes, I'm not going to get even close to one cycling without Zhao's burst or Ning's burst. Yeah, well, hindsight's 2020 here. Hopefully, I didn't deal enough damage to make Duval and leave. Ah, not particularly did. Shoot. Oh, well, he to activate this phase where he like makes the platform so you can't stand on them. I was hoping I didn't damage him enough for this, but I think I got past that first quarter. So sad. This is what I get for not going in with my bursts charged up properly. But alas. Like I said, this isn't gonna be my like finest gameplay that you've ever seen. It's very chilled out and relaxed. I don't even know what I'm going, what I'm like thinking of talking about in this one, and I'm already like halfway through the bosses, so I'm like, I gotta think fast. I I don't like that I can't move my camera here. Come on, land it down. Thank you. That enough? Oh lordy, I'm just gonna do that, even though I'm pretty sure it's gonna eat my burst. Yep, totally ate my burst. That sucks. That really sucks. Is my Ning- Oh my god, it cancelled all of my generation that I had for any of my bursts. That's frustrating. Yes. That's really frustrating. I- I don't know why it does that. I mean, like, I can still just auto-attack with Zhao, but like, I don't know. It's, that- that's very frustrating. Like, it's entirely my own fault, so I like- I can only be but like so annoyed at the game, but that just seems like a bad system to make you lose all of your bursts when this game revolves around using your elemental skills and bursts to their best ability. Oh yeah, that's something else I can kind of bring up. <gasps> he landed again! Augers! Means I have a chance. I can do this. Pop the burst. Zhao? You wanna hit him? There we go, okay. Yeah, I, 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 since the game revolves around these things so much. <laughs> wow, look at how much more damage I deal when I can actually use my burst. It's crazy. It just kind of pushes me towards the idea of I still need to make that video that I was going to make. Hilariously enough, the Kaya video wasn't actually the video I was planning on making. Also, another sigh for Deluc. Nice. Nice. The video I was going to make. Spoilers. I guess if you care about like my future plans, I'm going to make a video about the Abyss and how to best make teams for it, and how to best think about it, and what units that are great on the free-to-play side to bring in, and if you have units that you have gotten through wishes, which ones of them are the quote-unquote best options, in my opinion. That's one of the reasons I did the Kaya video first, because I'm going to talk about him a lot in the video, because he's just a really good character for the Abyss, especially this current Abyss. 
The Karen Abyss for the later floors are not cryo based, like 11 and 12, and he does really good in there. Which well, is neat. Hey, man, give me the thing. Thank you for the heal. I went the wrong way. So apparently, these like Mondstadt things are now like respawning on the daily. Wait, I just went and picked those up literally like 10 minutes ago. What? Why are they respawned? Why are these already here? I just went and picked those up. Oh, do they reset at like a certain time now? That'd be interesting. Yeah, I'll go back and do that later. That'd be really interesting if true if they just reset at a certain time of day in place of a certain amount of time after you picked them up. That would make me quite happy because I got so annoyed trying to remember, okay, when did I pick these up the other day? I also heard people saying that they, um... Made it. That they made it so that those respawn on the daily, which is really nice. As opposed to like every two to three days, which was really frustrating when you were trying to finish out your battle pass and you didn't know where to collect all the local specialties. Like, I found a route that let me farm like a hundred in a day, but it was really long and tedious and I didn't really like doing it. I only did it because I really wanted Battle Pass XP and to finish out my Battle Pass as fast as possible so I could really get into the uh, the grinding that I wanted to do. Of course, this is also the, me, the person who accidentally overgrinded a week in the Battle Pass, spent extra resin that he didn't have to. That was a whole thing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Man, man, man. Oh, we're, I'm, I'm now realizing we're gonna have to, gonna have to figure out how, when slash how I'm gonna do Outriders stuff soon. Because Outriders is coming out at the beginning of April, which is very soon. I figure out when slash where I'm gonna fit that into my schedule. Could you not hurt me? Why does he keep doing the same attack? Also, man, like, I love my Ning, but I still really wish I had some better stuff for her. I don't mean, like, um, heckin' weapon or skill-wise, because she's pretty geared in that regard. It's mostly just that my Ning doesn't have a really good circlet, and that is like legit the difference between making her slap and making her not slap, because I'm missing out on either a massive portion of crit rate or crit damage, depending on which circlet I'm getting. I mean, like, she still does well, as you can see, I, I say as that guy leaves. I'm also not really building this team to the best of Ning's ability. Well, that really hurt. Um. This team's more around Zhao, so Ning's just kind of here. If I had Albedo, you'd see a much better team. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention! Alright, hang on. That was stupid. Yeah, I, I, since I'm not using like Albedo as my secondary here. Man, I have lost all energy generation on this team. I think the worst part is that I'm not actually dealing damage when I try and generate energy for animo units here. As opposed to, at least with Bennett, even though I'm not generating tons, I am still... Alright, well, that sucks for you. I would still do tons of damage, I'm sure. Could you not get hit for like one second? Alright, whatever. I'm swapping the Zhao for a bit just because I'm getting bullied. Or if the Zhao's basic attacks are as effective as DPS as my Ningguang because Zhao is just built perfectly right now for me. He does have a 5 star, to be fair, which really helps in this game. Also, supposedly they like just fixed some Ning bugs. Oh, well, she died. So I'm, as you can tell, I'm so not a hundred percent right now. It's it's not going well for yours truly. No, I can still just slowly plink away with Zhao's basic attacks. No, 
I've, I'm just, I've been quite exhausted since, uh, I can, to be fair, this isn't, like, my exhaustion isn't, like, a direct, uh, direct thing from the, ooh? Golly, can it stop being, a, I've yet to ever, ever get a crit rate or crit damage gladiator hat, and it's very frustrating. It's very frustrating to have never gotten a crit rate one of those. Alright, there's my resin spend, there's that, rank, what is that, 17 now? That's pretty good. Well, that does lead me to heckin' general frustrations that I have with this game, and just, there's a little too much randomness, and there's a little too much of a uh, emphasis on getting lucky sometimes, even when it just, there's so many things that you can get guaranteed, that then there's so many other things that are not guaranteed, and overall they just add up to a frustrating experience sometimes. Like, f f trying to trying to farm out main stats on certain weapons, and not main stats on weapons, sorry, main stats on, um... Oh, I used all my healing shoot. Not main stats on weapons, I do apologize for misspeaking. Um, heckin'... Main stats on artifacts, like having to farm those out. The fact that only two of them are locked is kind of annoying. Like, uh, I, I, I do enjoy the fact that I can build for physical, elemental, or uh, just raw attack on a goblet. I appreciate that elemental mastery, energy recharge, and attack are all things on sands. I, like, I, I generally enjoy the like little things they've stuck in along the way for that, but at the same time, it is also incredibly frustrating to be farming out a cryo set for one of your team members and then be getting a freaking <laughs> and then you get a geo bonus damage cryo goblet and you're like oh well i didn't want to actually do cryo damage you think that's a bad example or a joke geo damage lizard strayer well i feel like that's something that could easily be worked on and fixed to help with the randomness of the game to where like certain sets will only drop certain elements. It I like I really, really don't feel like all sets should drop all things. It's it, it adds a little too heavily towards the randomness of the game. Just a just a wee bit. It's just a tiny bit too much randomness in the game because of stuff like that. And on top of that, it's you still have to get good substats, so like it just it can get very frustrating very quickly for someone like me who really enjoys and wants to grind and play, but has really only gotten great artifacts for like two or three characters. And a couple of those aren't even characters that I'm like super dedicated to making a main DPS out of, so it just gets even more frustrating in the long run. These totally respawn at a certain time of day because I farmed these earlier. These, okay. But let's see. They, the ones over here should not have respawned, because I literally got these five minutes before I started recording. Uh, nope, they're still here. Okay, so those respawn at a certain time of day now. That's weird. Either that, or they're just naturally respawning, because I restarted my game to make sure everything was working? I don't know, that's confusing. Alright, well, go and test that for yourself. See if you can, like, grab those twice a day or something wild. I don't know how that works out. I'm not going to complain, it makes my farming faster, but that's kind of weird. Man. I, it's, it, this just makes me giggle that these have already respawned like this, making it so that I can just run back and collect them again. I don't even need them for anything. I'll say, this has been a really weird felt chat. I didn't really know what to talk about a lot, but I just wanted to give a general update. And, you know, talk about the game as per usual. There's nothing really been on my mind other than like, well, I got dose one, so three weeks I'm going to get dose two, and then that means my life can slowly start come, going away from being a complete and total hermit and recluse inside of my house to, I'll probably go outside a bit. Probably go out and do one or two things, mayhaps. Like, I, I really don't know off the top of my head what other things I would go and do because I still don't like the idea of going out in the middle of a somewhat ongoing pandemic question mark can it still be called that if we're slowly working on vaccines and such for it i don't know but that fall under endemic category i don't know the differences 
I am not a smart enough man to know the difference is. I'm also not someone who's enough into deadly diseases to know the difference is. Can you just die, friendo, because you annoy me? I think he died? Yeah, there it is, that's slime condensate. Well, that was odd that I could just refarm those out despite the fact that I got them earlier. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll finish grabbing these last four Mondstadt specialties. We'll do it. Heck yeah. And while I'm doing this, I'll do my outro. So, thank you for hanging out and watching. This has been Felt Chat, a weird weekly series where I just kind of talk. And you get to hang out and chat with me, and it's a good time. And I mean, you don't really get to chat with me, you get to chat with me after the fact. Leave comments, talk about what's going on with you, maybe. I don't know. Talk about how excited you are that vaccines are becoming more readily available to the general public. Talk about... I don't even know. Ooh, I bet my... My forges are done, too. We'll pick those up, too. But if you like this series, leave a like, leave a comment, go... Subscribe here, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch. All the classic stuff where you can keep track of me. I think I have a link to a Discord somewhere on the page. If you want to be a part of my community. Community? Community. Goodness, I can't even talk right. If you want to be a part of the community, join us there. We're not hyperactive in Discord, but we hang out and chat. We have various things that go on in there. Lots of memery. Lots of memery. Claim that. Booyah! Level 18. Give me that Mystic Enhancement Ore. Mm, I need that to level up weapons for other characters. B, that's it. Thanks for hanging out, thanks for watching. Y'all are fantastic. I appreciate anyone who watches, likes, subscribes, comments, any of that. Y'all let me do what I do, and push me to do what I do more. It makes me happy to see engagement and people enjoying the content that I make. Hope to see y'all in the next one. Bye bye now.